ja, ja, ja. Ein so ein Kreis sometimes when I'm lying in bed. Ich tu get it all out what's in my head. And I, I, I'm feeling a little peculiar. And I say, hey, 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 get to the chopper. <laughs> We're back with the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Um, I don't know what to say about that, but Arnold is totally trolling me. And I told Arnold to make a complete video of that. Go to his channel right now and spam his comment section that you want more of that video and that you want him to make a full video. I've tried to talk him into it, but he said it's very time consuming. I have no idea how much time he spent on that, but it's amazing. And I think it's hysterical. Okay, new patch is coming out. We're going to get Krennic and Death Trooper. And it's amazing. But more importantly than that is Shore Trooper is now farmable. Oh my God. In 8-B hard, we can get Shore Trooper shards. And I have seen this guy when he's geared out all the way get play at four and five stars. He's amazing. So run, don't walk. Empire is going to be amazing with these new heroes that are coming you know inside of the newsletter there's a bunch of new information get ready to earn shards for director krennic and one of his death troopers in an all new limited time event throughout this four phase event you'll have a chance to play with director krennic and his death trooper and later battles against them if you manage to defeat krennic and his death troopers you will be rewarded with a chance to unlock them both yay the special operations events have multiple tiers of difficulty and be available starting at level 20. These events can only be completed once. And then here we can see two new characters have arrived, Director Krennic and Death Trooper. These powerful Imperial characters have great synergies together and are specialized in taking out rebels. The overwhelming consensus is that Empire is just going to take over the meta entirely. Director Krennic is a potent support character that uses powerful debuffs against his foes including a new debuff stagger we'll talk about that a little bit later these debuff is inflicted using death trooper assault ability and removes 100 percent turn meter when the stagger enemy takes damage wow it could be like target lock i think that the raid bosses still are going to be immune to this type of effect we will find out that shortly i'm sure when Director Krennic uses Experimental Weapon ability, he will inflict a different type of debuff on each type of character, such as stunning attackers, inflicting ability block on healers, and placing buff immunity on tanks. Death Trooper is a powerful attack and the perfect addition to a squad with Director Krennic in it. Whenever Death Trooper scores a critical hit, he and Director Krennic recover health. Wow. The Death Trooper's grenade ability removes all buffs from enemies. Woo! and inflicts healing immunity on them, punishing squads that rely on buffs. Terminate is the Death Trooper's most powerful ability, so that's like Death Mark, guaranteeing a critical hit if the enemy has any debuffs on them and making them unable to be revived if defeated by it once upgraded. Wow, very cool. Looks like these events are coming soon. When you click the event tab, you can see all of this, and we're gonna go to the official forums and look at the post there as well. So yeah. These are going to be starting right away. Looks like the Special Operations 1 will start in 8 hours. I will be making videos about that for sure. It looks like there's going to be events all throughout this. Look at all of these events. Wow. I cannot wait. I'm excited. All this new content is amazing. And I'm just happy to get Short Trooper. Let's go to the official post on the forums. A little bit more detailed information here. Now, I did check... Reddit and SWGOH.GG for data mine information. It is not out yet. As soon as it is out, I will be posting that as well. Looks like Kylo Ren is going to be getting a rework, and he will be February's login character. Yeah, Kylo Ren has been terrible and definitely needs a rework. So we're going to look at Director Krennic. Dark Side Empire support character, standard abilities, inflict stun, ability block, buff immunity for two turns, new debuff, stagger, similar to expose, but removes all turn meter. His leader ability en enables critical chance and potency empire squads with extra ability blocks. 
can't be critically hit while Death Trooper is present. Death Trooper, first Empire unit with an AoE dispel. Yay. Standard abilities inflicts daze and stun. And daze is that mechanic where they cannot assist. They can't gain extra turn meter. It's a great mechanic. And his debuff inflicts death mark. So there's going to be this Citadel pack. Citadel pack appears after the start of the final tier of the special operation event. Each pack guarantees five shards of Director, Krennic, and Death Troop with a chance to gain 30 shards. I wonder what that chance is. Yoda and Palpatine events. Looks like they're going to make the Palpatine events much more frequent. And they're going to rotate, looks like, every other month. That is very cool. Some minor changes to guild chat notifications. And like we talked about earlier, Short Trooper has been added to the light side battles hard. 9-B. There was a couple different bug fixes. Fixed a bug that prevented the target lock bonus to first order TIE fighter strafe ability from triggering if the target is defeated by the attack. Cassian Andor will now prioritize shot grenade over other abilities when under AI control. That's pretty cool. Fixed a bug that caused the AAT turret to deal massive damage to Boba Fett when he has the bounty hunters resolve bug. And then it says what's ahead and then it shows a red lightsaber which I was kind of hoping they would show like a green or a blue lightsaber. It says a disturbance echoes through the galaxy, rising in shadow, hungry for power. Now that post would be cool if it said that and it had a blue or green lightsaber. Maybe we can get a hero related to HK-47. I don't know. There's something else on the phone I want to show you also. It looks like there is a ship for the Death Trooper, which they don't mention inside of this right here which is the tie reaper which uses the short trooper so this could all be very interesting i can't wait to play these events i'm just happy that i can farm short trooper mostly and i will make videos about all this stuff as i get more information we know more about it and as always thanks for watching and keep on gaming and be sure to go tell arnold to make that video a complete one i think that would be amazing i know he's really busy with school and all but he should definitely make that video. Take care, guys. I, I, I. Feeling a little peculiar. And I say, hey, 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 h